over the past seven years, we've been working together to transform the humble glass microscope slide into a mobile chemistry lab. By turning chemistry into colour, we're able to differentiate cancer cells from normal cells and by working with Belinda Parker's group, develop a new test for early stage breast cancer. I was really excited to see, could this slide actually distinguish a cancer cell from a normal cell in a breast tissue and indeed it did and it did that in such a simple way. We could see the cancer cells lighting up in a different colour than the normal surrounding tissue and they just really popped out at us under a normal microscope. And so we, we believe that the Nano M slide has a really exciting place in accurate diagnosis in these really early stage breast cancers. Well, the nice thing about the Nano M slide is you don't need any fancy equipment. The way that it's been designed by Brian and his colleagues is that it can actually just be placed under a normal light microscope. What that means is, is that it can fit into the pipelines of a standard pathology lab. It's just so exciting to take a slide and be able to distinguish a cancer cell from a normal cell in a complex tissue. Like, we've never been able to do that before. In this case, we, we're actually distinguishing cancer cells independent of their individual biology. And so we can actually use this to, to find those cancer cells, whether that be in an early diagnosis setting, potentially in a surgical setting, and down the track maybe in other cancers, actually picking up these cells differently. The way that the slide works is we use advanced manufacturing to create a, basically nanostructures across the entire slide. And those nanostructures convert visible light from the microscope into colour. And every time you place a, a cell or a tissue on the slide, you get a change in colour. And those colours are directly related to the local chemistry of the cell or tissue. And so what we found with working with Belinda's group is that the colours that cancer cells produced were different to healthy cells. In fact, we were seeing uh, through the development that we did together uh, a green-yellow contrast between the cancerous cells and the healthy cells. The technology that we're using to produce these slides did not exist 10 years ago. We originally had to work with a company in Europe to, to do the early prototype development. Through working with the Victorian government, we've actually been able to bring that capability for advanced manufacture over to Victoria and last year we opened a facility over in Clayton which we're actually using to manufacture these devices and the key partner there who has been absolutely essential to this development is the Australian National Fabrication Facility, ANFF. So being here at the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre is really unique. We do a lot of translational research so what we want to do is take something that we find in the lab and take it all, all the way through to clinical impact and we can do that here at Peter Mac. It's been a steep learning curve, but now, you know, after the seven years, I think that that's really paying off. And we are in the position where we have all of that interest, not only from, you know, our end users in the pathology community, but also from industry and, and the commercial side. We started off taking a risk, um, you know, and we've, we've been in the right place. Victoria's a fantastic place to do really innovative medical research. We have a great history of it. And it's been really exciting to see that come to fruition and, and win such a prestigious prize for this slide technology. I am Professor Brian Abbey from La Trobe University. And I am Associate Professor Belinda Parker from Peter McCallum Cancer Centre. And, and we, we are, are honoured, honoured to receive the 2022 Victoria, Victoria Prize for Science and Innovation in Physical, Physical Sciences. Sciences.